So hey Kelly, what we have here are some collard greens. And you notice how they're growing evenly spaced in rows? Yeah, they look great. Thanks, yeah, we actually planted them this way so that they have all the space they need to grow big and strong. Cool. What else do you have growing here? Well, in addition to veggies, we also have a lot of flowers and herbs. You wanna check them out? Yes. Let's go. Wait a minute, what about this plant? Did you plant it right here on purpose, right next to the fence? Is it even gonna have room to grow? That's a great observation, Kelly. No, I did not plant this here. Hmm. It's a mulberry tree and you're right, it is way too close to the fence. Well, if you didn't plant it here, then how did it even get here? Well, I think our culprit is seed dispersal. Seed dispersal? Yeah, seed dispersal. Think of a forest. How does the forest grow even though we don't plant it? Because huh. plants don't have legs or feet like humans do, right? So they can't just move around. So this plant had to come from somewhere. Let's take a look at this leaf and see if we can find its parent somewhere nearby. Hmm, maybe over there? Ah, I let's, think you're right. Let's check it out. Well, these leaves look really similar. You're right. And if we look closely, we can see little baby mulberries growing. So this is a mulberry tree and very likely the parent to that tree by the fence. That's crazy. How did a seed from this plant get all the way over there? It dispersed its seeds. Seed dispersal is the movement or dispersal of seeds away from its parent. Huh. Do you think there's other plants around the farm that grew because of seed dispersal? Absolutely. Hmm. Think let's, we can find some? Let's take a look. What about this plant right here? It doesn't look like you planted it here. Could it be the result of seed dispersal? I think you're right, because we didn't plant this in the pathway. Maybe we can find this parent plant nearby. Hmm. Could it be from this plant? Or could it be from this plant? What about this one? This one looks just like the other plant, especially its leaves, but it's bigger. I bet this is the parent plant. Kelly, here are some baby plants that are growing on their own. From seed dispersal. Yes, and let's see if we can find their parent. I can try. Could it be from this plant? Or maybe seeds fell from this rose bush. Ooh, what about this plant? Its leaves look exactly the same, but this one's so much bigger. This one's gotta be the parent plant. So now you see that plants can grow even when we don't plant them by hand. Remember, when a parent plant spreads its seeds, it's called seed dispersal. But what does seed dispersal even look like? How does it happen? Hmm, that's a great question for the pollinator. The pollinator works closely with all the plants so maybe they can help us figure it out. I'm happy you all asked me. I've been working with these plants forever and I've seen a lot. You won't believe the way some of these seeds make it to the ground. There are four main methods of seed dispersal. Probably the most entertaining of seed dispersal methods is mechanical. Some plants have developed the ability to launch their seeds away from the parent plant. These plants build up tension in their tissue, much like a slingshot stores energy in a tightrope. At just the right moment, the tension is released and the seeds are flung. What a way to send off the kids! Anyone who has made a wish on a dandelion flower has seen wind dispersal in action. Seeds can fly away with the wind in many ways. Maple seeds spin and fly, cottonwood seeds that float gently, and dandelion seeds that fly along like tiny parachutes. If the wind is right, seeds from these plants can travel hundreds of miles. It's a big gamble though. Most seeds don't fall in suitable growing locations. This is why plants that use wind dispersal produce so many seeds. One way to send seeds far from the parent is to have them hitch a ride with an animal. Plants using this method often have seeds that are sticky or covered with barbs, perfect for attaching to unsuspecting passersby. Some seeds are spread when animals eat them. 
These seeds have a hard coating that allows the seeds to survive in the animal's stomach. When it comes out the other side, it'll hit the ground and be ready to grow. Plants that live by rivers or beaches often use water to move their seeds. These plants produce seeds that float. Water carries them away, hopefully to a suitable growing location. Wow, thanks pollinator. Who knew there were so many ways that seeds could spread around the world? I can't wait to see all the different plants that pop up around the farm. Me too, I'm gonna keep an eye out for all four types of seed dispersal, mechanical, air, animal, and water. But for now, Kelly and I need to get back to some farm work. So see you later, pollinator. Bye.